Dr. Erica with Rosie Research. And in a previous video, we looked at these really cool LEDs that are called red, green, blue LEDs. They have four legs, and if you hook them up into a Play Doh circuit, you can make it be red, green, or blue. And this is a lot of fun in terms of squishy circuits, but we also like to do things that you can take around with you and they work all the time. And so we make a lot of paper circuit templates. So instead of doing it like this with Play Doh, we're going to do it and make a color piano. So you can download this template online, it's totally free, and you'll just need a few supplies. You'll need the template, you'll need a red, green, blue LED, it's got four prongs. You'll need a little binder clip or some tape or something, a battery, so this is what's going to power our circuit. These are coin cell batteries, they're called CR2032s. You can find them at the grocery store because they're what's in your clicker for your car, but they're really expensive at the grocery store. I think they're like four or five dollars each. You can get a hundred online for twenty bucks. So I would go with the online route and get them for twenty bucks. And then you need some copper tape. These come in different thicknesses. I actually usually use a copper tape that's a little thicker than this, but I am trying this out with the classes that I teach to see if it's a little easier for kids to use this copper tape. What I found so far is the thinner tape it bends a lot better for the kids. They have a little harder time peeling it, so it's sort of like a win-lose situation. So you'll need that. All of the supplies you need are on Amazon. We have a link that'll give you the whole shopping list all at once, which is really nice. So when you print this out, it's got all of the instructions that you need. So it's pretty straightforward, but the first thing we'll do is cut out our color piano. All right, so I have my color piano cut out as two pieces. I've got the keys and I've got the piano piece. So the next part is we're gonna work on the keys. There's these little dotted lines on the keys, and so we're gonna cut up those dotted lines. You don't have to cut all the way. I usually just cut to the black part of the key. And this is gonna be our switch that will complete the circuit for either red, green, or blue. Alright, and so then I can bend up the keys here, like this, and it'll tell you to put copper tape on the backs of these keys, and that's because if I want them to complete the circuit, they need to have a little piece of wire on them. Now, when I do this, I actually like to have a little, sort of a big square, um, because just one single piece of tape, you're hoping that it's gonna, everything is going to line up perfectly, which it likely isn't. So you're going to get your copper tape peeled, and then we'll put down little squares of the copper tape on the backs of each key. All right. So I've got these little squares of copper tape on the back of every key, and if it doesn't work when we're all done, then I'll go back and I can put more copper tape on those. But for now, I'm done with that. The next piece is our color piano, and you'll notice there's all of these yellow lines on here. There are five yellow lines, and your goal is going to be to only use five pieces of copper tape. So your goal is going to be to bend the tape at all of these turns instead of cutting the tape. What that does is it helps make your wire nice. So when you cut the tape and you lay the tapes over each other, there's glue between, and the electrons have to go through the glue, which is like a big resistor for them. So then your light either doesn't light up or it lights up really dimly. So we try to make it go one piece of tape for each line. And the other thing to note is this line on the bottom right here, you want it to go up and it kind of is transparent underneath this battery piece. So you're going to lay it all the way up into this green dot, which is where we're going to put our battery at. So let's get this taped up.
Mm. All right, so I have all of my pieces copper taped now. A couple of things to note are that these pieces that go come down onto this bottom line, we do not want them to actually touch the bottom line. So there is a gap between it. You see a little bit of black there. There's a gap on the template, and you want to make sure you leave that gap on it. So check your template now and make sure that the copper tape that comes down here doesn't touch this bottom line. So none of these three legs touch that bottom line. The other thing that I want you to check right now on your um, taping is that up here none of these pieces of copper tape touch each other. So I have a little bit of space and they should not, the copper tape should not overlap. So check those things and then we'll be ready to go to the next step. So we have our four-legged red, green, blue LED. You'll notice I've got the red, green, blue, here's the dot for it, and there's one, two, three, four wires coming out of it. You'll notice it says long leg and then short leg one, two, three. If you look at your LED, there's all different lengths of the short leg. We don't care about that. We only care about the longer leg. So it doesn't matter which way the other ones go. So I'm going to bend my long leg, that's my important one. And it's going to go over here, and then I'm going to bend my other legs to sort of match this area. I do want to make sure my legs don't crisscross as I do this, because then when we close the gap for one, it'll actually be closing the gap for two of them all of the time. So I've got this guy here, and then I'll do it's sort of like that. And I usually just go like sort of really rudimentary at first, and then I'll place it down, and I'll put it in like this and I'll move the legs to where they need to be. So they're gonna to have to line up onto the copper tape. And then I'm going to, with the copper tape, I'm gonna tape it in with another piece of copper tape. If you want to, you can use just scotch tape, but I find that it works a little better if I use copper tape there, and then I'll put some tape on top if I want it to be really sturdy. So I have my four legs lined up, and I'm just gonna tape them in. So my LED is all taped in. You will notice that I haven't taped across the legs. So I didn't tape my legs in like this. That's gonna cause some issues. One, it doesn't make good contact. And two, if you connect two wires, you might either be connecting the colors, or in the case of this, you're just actually bypassing the LED and short circuiting your circuit. So that's a couple of things to notice on this piece. And again, when I look up here at the LED, the wires aren't touching each other and the copper tape isn't touching each other. So that's really important. So now we need to power it. Our battery, when we put it in, it says plus side up. That's the side with the writing. So I'll just put the plus side up and I'm going to fold this over and clip it in. Now, it doesn't work. Of course it doesn't work. We have these little gaps in our circuit. So what you can do to quickly test it is you can take a little piece of copper tape and you can go across the thing like this. Still doesn't work. So we can do, we can test it. It's actually a great thing that this one doesn't work so that you guys can see how I test it. So what I'll do is first I'm going to just connect anywhere. And it looks like it's not doing that. So I'm gonna flip my battery over. Sometimes these LEDs they are, they're called, you can get a common cathode red, green, blue, or a common anode red, green, blue. And that just means that for one of them, if the long leg is the positive side or the negative side, if you get the wrong kind, flipping your battery would make it work. I'm pretty sure I have the common cathode kind. So the next thing that I would test is sometimes it doesn't get great connection you want to move it around. Oh, see, there we go. I moved it ever so slightly and now it's working. So it's part of my battery. My battery is the issue and getting it connected in there. So let's see if I move it down a little. That still is not happy. So let's see. Because I've made it light, 
I know that I can make it light, which means I know that the, the LED is in the right direction, the battery is the right direction. Now it's just sort of troubleshooting it to make it work better. So, let's see. Now I can't get it at all. Let's try this. So it's still not working. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in a little extra down here and a little extra up here and maybe that will help it work. So let's try that. All right, and let's see if that works any better. Hmm, not working any better. So, let's see. Hmm. Let's press this guy down a little better. And what we can also do is we can actually retape all the way back down those things when we taped in the legs. So that'll be my next step. So I'm going to actually add my tape all the way down. Something is missing in my connections. I'm not sure what, but this happens all the time when you do circuits, especially paper circuits. So we'll just peel this up and we'll start again. Let's see, after I do one, we'll check it and see if that is maybe the problem. So let's take a piece of copper and close our switch. That is not making it work. works straight all the way up to the leg. That can give us some good information. So if we go here, go up to there, that's not working. Let's bend this over. We'll slip it under, straight under the battery just to te test. And it's still not working. So maybe it's my long leg. Maybe my long leg. Ah, yes. See, look. When I touch my long leg, so something's wrong with my long leg. So let's try it again. We'll add in some extra on the long leg. All right, so I went over that longer leg because it seemed like that might have been the problem. So let's see now. Now I've got blue, green, and my red is still not working, but I know that the green and the blue do work. The green was working. Hmm. Ah, yeah, so it works a little. Still like a connection issue. So the blue works really easily. I'm gonna take the green and the red legs and do the same thing. I'm gonna go back over all the way on the top. And one little trick that I do use when I go over the tops of them is I actually fold a little teeny tiny piece of this tape back upon itself so that it can touch, the top of the tape can touch the leg without the glue. So let's see if that will fix it for us. So we'll do both of those. All right, so now I have put it down all the way down the legs and at the tops of the legs I sort of bent the tape over so that I could touch it. Um, and now let's see if it works better. And this is all part of paper circuits, figuring out what's working, what's not working, and why. So I got blue, green, red. Everything works now, which is awesome. I'm actually really glad it didn't work perfectly the first time so that you guys could see how we troubleshoot it. Another problem you might have, which you should check immediately, is your battery. Sometimes these batteries go out really easily. I know that these batteries aren't going out just because I know that I just got them. Um, and I haven't, I've been using this brand for a while. So now that we have this part, we can do our keys. And what you'll do is you'll basically just line up your keys so that the copper on them will make it close that gap. And then you'll be all ready. I'm gonna cut a little bit extra off since it's always a little wide. <laughs> 